Here we have an example of a truck, 36 inch diameter wheels, turning at 530 RPM, that's revolutions per minute. Find the linear speed of the truck in miles per hour. So this is converting from how fast the wheels are turning in revolution per minute to the actual linear speed of the truck, like how fast the truck is moving down the road. So this can be a little tricky. This is like a physics problem, basically. Let me um, show you how this works. So let's, let's draw a tire here. Tire is a circle. And um, if we, let me just go ahead and make it a unit circle like we're used to. So there's, there's our tire. They're telling us that this tire goes 530 revolu this is revolutions per minute. So that means it goes all the way around. So when the tire goes all the way around, one revolution is how far? What, what's the formula for around the outer edge of a circle? 2 pi r. That's the circumference of a circle. That's, um, that's how far around the outer edge, the circumference of a circle, 2 pi r. So one revolution is 2 pi r, where r is the radius. Um, so what's the radius? Well, it's a 36-inch careful diameter. So that means... It's 36, oops, sorry about that. It's 36 to there. It's 36 all the way across. So that means from the middle to the edge, the radius must only be half of that, 18. Right? 36 is the diameter. Diameter is all the way across. This is diameter. This is radius. Diameter is all the way across. Radius is from the middle to the edge. So, so 1 revolution equals 2 pi times 18. In other words, 36 pi inches. Because it's 18 inches for the radius. Because it was 36 inches for the diameter. Okay, so what? So we got one revolution is 36 inches. Every time that tire goes all the way around, it covers 36 inches, 36 pi inches on the ground. So every time that tire goes all the way around, all the way, here it is where it's hitting the ground. Every time that goes all the way around, <clears throat> it's covered the whole outer edge of that tire, which is 36 times pi inches of ground have been covered as the car cruises, the truck cruises down the road and the tire rolls every time it goes all the way around 36 pi inches. Okay, great. So what? Well, we want miles per hour. So let's, so one revolution, it's, wait, what's it doing? Three, 530 revolutions per minute. Let's bring that down here. 530, and I'm going to write it out like this, RPM, that equals 530 rev revolutions, I always start to spell that wrong, revolutions per one minute. You write that as a fraction, right? It's 530 revolutions goes around 530 times every minute. Well, this is basically now just a big unit conversion problem, right? Let me, let me go over here where we have a little more room. 530 revolutions per one minute. And in, in the end, they asked us to find out miles per hour. Miles per hour. So this is like, this is what I learned in chemistry, is how to convert units. So this will be a good problem for practicing unit conversion. How do we do it? We're starting with revolutions per minute. We want to end up with miles per hour. So here we go. You um, put on the bottom what you want to get rid of. I'm going to put revolutions. I'll cut, why? Because I don't want revolutions in the end, do I? So I want to get rid of revolutions. So put them on the bottom so they'll go away. And what's the connection? Well, right here. Oh, no. Sorry, we've already used that. Right here, one revolution is 36 pi inches. So one revolution is 36 pi. Make that a little better there. 36 pi. Yeah. Let me try that again. 36 pi inches, right? That's the connection. We found one revolution is 36 pi inches. So this fraction is just a fancy one, do you realize? Because 36 pi inches is equal to 
one revolution. So I'm really multiplying by a fancy one. So I'm not really changing the value. When you multiply by a fancy one where the top and the bottom are really equal, they're the same thing, you're not changing the value, you're just changing the look or the language or the units. And that's what I'm trying to change, the units. I just want to change the way it looks, not its actual value. So that's why we use things that are equal because you're multiplying the top and bottom by things that are equal. You're not changing it. You're just changing the units. So revolutions is gone. If I stop the problem right now, I'm in inches per minute. Is that what I want? Inches per minute? No, I want neither one of those. So I got to get rid of both of those. So keep going. You can, I'm going to do the inches next. I want to get rid of inches, right? Remember you put on the bottom what you want to get rid of. Now, what could I go to easily? Well, I know how to go to feet. I'm not going to jump all the way to miles right away. I'll get there slowly. What do you know about... So, so why I'm doing that is because I want to get rid of inches. So I knew to put inches on the bottom. What can you go to easily from inches? Feet. One foot is 12 inches. You see how this is easy? You don't need to do anything hard. Just keep lining up. Now, right now, if I stop the problem, I've got what's left not crossed out feet over minutes. Is that what I want? Feet in minutes? No. Keep going. Now, remember, what? how do you do the next step? What do you want to get rid of? Well, I want to get rid of feet because I don't want feet in the end. Right. What could I go to? Miles. Now, um, you probably don't know this one. Uh, maybe you do. 5,280 feet in one mile. So I will give you that on the exam if you need it. You won't. Um, I would give it to you on the problem. Or you can put it on your notes if you want. So I'm not expecting you to memorize that. So 5,280 feet in one mile. If I stop the problem right now, what, what, what units are left not crossed out? Miles over minutes. I'm getting close. I want miles per hour, don't I? I'm close. So I'm happy with miles. These are good. I'm, I'm not going to get rid of miles. I'm happy with miles. What I've got to change is the minutes to hours. That's what I've got to get rid of. I've got to get rid of minutes, don't I? Because I don't want minutes in the end. I'm happy with miles. I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave miles, but I've got to get rid of minutes, don't I? And change to hours. So how do I, how do, I do that? Let me scoot this over. Um, what we're going to do, how do you get rid of minutes? Where's minutes right now? On the bottom. So where do you put them if you want to cancel them? On the top. Do you see that? Now, it doesn't matter that it's far away. Whatever. It'll cross-cancel. These are all just multiplied things. You can always reorder. The order, the order in which these different fractions are matters not, right? You can always, they're just, they're just multiplied together. If I go 2 times 3 times 4, or I go 2 times 4 times 3, it's the same answer. It doesn't matter what order you multiply a bunch of things in, so don't worry about it. You can cross-cancel. You can pretend they're right next to each other if that helps you. It doesn't matter. Minutes will cross-cancel. Now, what do you want to go? So bye-bye minutes, and I want to go to hours, don't I? And what's the connection there? You know, one hour is 60 minutes, isn't it? These are equal. Those, those two things are equal. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. So that's, that's good. Oops, put that back, 60 minutes. All right, so let me get rid of this stuff down here. It's kind of messing up. All right, so there we go. So we've arrived. What, what do I mean we've arrived? Well, what, what units do we have left not crossed out? Miles is not crossed off. And hours which is what they want, miles per hour. Okay, so great. So what do I actually do on my calculator? It's really simple. Anything in the top, you multiply. Anything in the bottom, you divide. And the order does not matter at all. I'll start with 530. Multiply by 36 times pi. Use the pi button on your calculator. There's the 36 pi. Here's the 530. Times, oh, actually, it's going to be divide because that 12 is on the bottom. So you go divided by 12. Anything in the bottom is divide. Divided by... 5280. See, we just notice, and then, well, one more, times 60, because that's in the top, right? And then hit equals. Hit the buttons on your calculator, just like that. Anything in the top, you multiply. Anything in the bottom, you divide. That's what makes unit conversion so easy. We never worried about multiply, divide, anything like that. We just um, made the units in the right spot, canceling whatever we needed to cancel, and then the numbers will end up in the right spot. I'm getting 56.763 miles per hour. So if that car is going 530, that truck, 530 revolutions per minute, and his tires have a 36-inch diameter, he's traveling down the road at 
0.763 miles per hour because every time that tire goes around, it cranks out 36 pi inches and it goes around 530 times every minute and that'll crank out 56.763 miles in an hour. There we go, unit conversion.